my friends good morning what is up all my home fries and everybody out there watching we took you on the road with us absolutely we are just now getting ready to start this journey to memphis yeah it looks like about eight and a half hours to get to knoxville where we're gonna stay for the night you know the first stop for us was Royal Farms, and anybody that's from the Northeast area knows Royal Farms and Royal Farms Chicken Tenders, so that was the immediate first stop, and now I think we're ready to go. Fried chicken for a breakfast. Loaded snack bag, a cooler. Let's see if you can see our back seat. Look at that. Yeah. We got all kinds of stuff back there. Yeah. We are loaded up, my friends. Ready to go. We are ready to go, and we're ready to see all of our mem fries out there if you are coming, and if not, you are with us in spirit, mm -hmm. and uh, we're gonna show you how it is. We'll see you soon. See you soon. Day 473, driving to Memphis. We managed to escape Southern Virginia with our lives. Ninja had to navigate us around these lightning and thunderstorms, dip dodging and zipping through about 15 or 27 different lightning bolts that tried to strike our vehicle. But no, I'm just messing with y'all. We are in Tennessee. It is absolutely beautiful, and I'm sure all you home fries know exactly what that was from, or at least my version of it, but uh... You didn't say Captain's Log. Captain's Log, star date 27,000. Oh, look at that, that's pretty. <laughs> Can you see? I'm too short you to see. You got them short little T-Rex right. arms. Oh, okay now. <laughs> but yeah, we're uh... We're in Tennessee and it is absolutely beautiful. It's green and lush. And uh, we did actually go through some crazy thunderstorms. It was pouring down and Ninja did successfully get us through. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take over and drive when it's perfect out and let you rest. <laughs> don't, don't laugh. <laughs> I was nice and kind, you know? But yeah, much love you guys. So we're about to hit our hotel in Knoxville and um, get a little rest and do a little work and then we will get on the road. We didn't hit too much traffic, but the scenery was beautiful. All these purple flowers on the side of the road, awesome. And you know what? <laughs> no rest for you. You gotta keep working. Just pump out these videos. But oh, you yeah. know we gotta get down too. We gotta have our fun. <laughs> <laughs> Always making friends. Aww. How about your friends? I love them. <laughs> Captain's log. Star date 0401 2024. We're about 17,000 miles outside of Memphis. I'm hoping we make it there in time for the show tomorrow, actually in time to meet all of our home fries at the meetup, but um, I'm sure we're gonna make it. I kinda got a little bit of a lead foot, but um, all in all, we're about 15, 20 miles outside of Memphis. We're getting there very, very quickly. It's been awesome. Uh, it's a little gloomy, but you know what? We're gonna make the most of it. We're bringing the sunshine. We're gonna bring the sunshine, especially because about an hour ago, we just got some amazing news. We will be interviewing Home Free after our VIP session and a Q&A meet and greet. Ah! Oh, it's just awesome. So awesome, awesome, awesome all the way around.
Besides going to Memphis to see Home Free, one of the things we're most excited about is seeing Jeremy's mom, Holly. I think it's been like eight months or something since we've seen her last. Yeah. And she's just amazing, and we knew she would have a blast with all the home fries. And coming from Dallas, it wasn't too far of a journey for her. It was I think like six hours. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. So it wasn't too bad. Here we are pulling down the street that our Airbnb was on and uh, getting to see mom for the first time it's in a while. It was neat. It was like older houses and our Airbnb was completely remodeled. All right, here we are. Let's see. It feels good to stretch. <laughs> right? Been a little bit. Ah, freedom! <laughs> All right. Do you know how to get in? <laughs> hello, hello. hello there. Welcome to Memphis. Buongiorno. Oh, wait. I shouldn't be speaking Italian here, huh? Wrong country. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. <laughs> Howdy. Here it starts. Here Hi. we go. Hi. How are you? Oh, good. I'll give you a proper hug once we put all these devices down. Hi. Hi, Jim. Hello. Oh, boy. <laughs> all right. How was, your, how was your trip? Oh, uneventful. Yeah? Yeah, let's go in here and see. What what do you think about the place, Holly? Very nice. We didn't film the Airbnb, but let us know if you'd like to see that kind of thing in a future vlog. Wow, so it's like, it's actually, what time is it? Eight, Eight in, the in the morning and it's, it's like dark. It's like the apocalypse is happening. It, it is so dark out. Whoa. Oh, this is cool. As long as it stops before our meetup today. Yeah, we got like, our meetup in what? Three um, hours? Yeah. Two and a half hours? Yeah, come down now. <laughs> yeah. And then clear up and then the hair is gonna be okay. <laughs> This is not good hair weather. <laughs> it is coming down. Wow. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, it's no surprise that our fries brought the sunshine. We had a tiny but mighty attendance, and so many of you at the show said you wish you could have come out, but we get it. It was in the middle of the day. There was all kinds of stuff going on. I think it was even like Easter Monday or something like and that. And lots of people were traveling and just couldn't get there in time, which is okay, because we had a blast with the home fries that showed up and partied with us. Except this part. And barnacled with us. Yeah, not that part. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for showing up, ladies. Here we are, Cannon Performing Arts Center, going to see our first Home Free concert and interviewing the guys. I can't even contain my excitement. It's gonna be so awesome. It's gonna be so great. We got mom here. And we got mom in tow. Hey. Woo! Coming from Dallas. Yeah. Gotta yeah. go check in early and get our tickets and get our photo passes and see what the deal is. So come along with us. Let's go. Yeah. I see a lot of cool people here, so it's gotta be fries. It's gotta be the fries. Shortly after, we were whisked away to the stage where we would sit down, have our Q&A, and enjoy a special one song private performance, which was amazing. But this will be the end of the video because we were not allowed to film or take pictures during that session. But we'll talk about it later, don't worry. Okay, my friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. this Let's is, talk about it. Oh, uh, this is just a little painful for me as an audio engineer. Okay, a lot painful. Yeah. Now, I love everybody that we met here. The whole Home Free Camp was amazing. Uh, we just weren't aware that as soon as we were brought into the room, 
the guys were going to come in right after. I mean, there was no setup time, zero setup time. There was no so. setup time. And about Amberly sitting on the floor, just so you know, we offered her a seat and she declines. But that is Amberly <laughs> over on the floor just hanging out. Yeah. yeah. And and so not only did we have zero setup time. Tim also let us know that we have about 15 minutes yeah. to interview them. Yeah. So. And so that's important because we had reached out and asked for some fries to give us what their questions were. Some of them we had to be really discerning on what we asked them just for the sake of the time that we had. So apologies if we didn't yeah. get to your question. It was all for a very good reason. Yeah. A lot of questions had to be taken off the off of our list, unfortunately. Yeah. But the biggest problem that I had as an audio person was the sound. I had no time to test anything or check anything. It was like- It was stressful. Hit play on three different cameras, three different microphones, yeah. and sit and get into your moment and just go. And this is while the guys are all sitting there Staring watching at us. him. So I'm there <laughs> just trying, like, not small talk because I really, first of all, I don't like small talk. So I was trying to really engage with the guys and ask them questions and, kind of distract them until Jeremy got everything set up. Yeah, it was it was painful and yeah. the audio of the guys was actually horrible. Awful. All you could hear was reverb from the room. It was like it just was it was so bad. Yeah. So basically it's a bit fun for me to revisit because now I get to trade off Adam Chance over there. So great. My heart sank and yeah. I worked hours to actually get this to work. And <laughs> It, you would you wouldn't really know it if, if we didn't tell you this, but um, if it you hear was any bad. weird things, just know he like this has been the bane of our existence the yeah. past week. Sorry if you hear anything weird. We did our best to try to get it, and I think you did a masterful job. Thank you very much. You're, You're definitely gonna hear some weird things, yeah. but anyways, here is the interview you guys have been waiting for. Finally, finally, and hope you guys enjoy it. Well, everybody, look who we got here. Come on, man, this is ridiculous. And I don't know if you guys had a chance to eat or anything like that yet. So we did bring you a snack. A little snack. You know, we to our Just hearts. Wait, we wait. Well, I don't know. I don't know. We, we brought you guys something that y'all might find nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we thought we'd get that yeah, to Adam. You want to pass, pass out around? That's it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <wild, wild, wild. laughs> or you can give it to him for, for Sash Mo. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So that's very specifically why we bought them. Last week, we just did the video of you having the, the dog. Biscuits. The milk bone. The love is Yeah, it's been a long time. But... Thank you guys for, for bringing all the joy and everything to yeah. everybody. We really appreciate it. And got a couple questions for you guys if you want to start off. Yeah, I, I've already said the whole thank you part off camera, but for on camera, there's a lot of joy that you give us every single week for the past year that we've had the channel, you probably are the number one thing that people look forward to the most and you have the best fans. So just thank you for being you to foster such a great connection with people. It's been a real joy to learn and I just wanna say thank you for that. Thank you. Oh, yeah. you. Thanks. And on the new album, yeah. right? Yeah, Crazier Life. What would probably be the most fun song on that album that you guys got to record or put together? What What did you guys enjoy the most from that album? That's a tough one. I mean, I'm or, or two. I think I'm enjoying Wake Me Up the most right now. Yeah. Because it, it's, we got to reimagine a little bit, bring you a whole new life, obviously, by recording again on the album, but also it's different in the show even than it is from the album, mm -hmm. which is not always how we do that. So I'm really, like Adam, Works well a lot on that arrangement for the live show, and I think it's really effective. It's super cool. The yeah. basically, it's been fun for me to revisit because now I get to trade off Adam Chance over there. So great. <laughs> Hell yeah! And are you guys already like brewing up original stuff for the next album? Always. Always. Okay. All right. There's never a break. There's never like a hey, let's stop thinking for a minute and take a break and turn it off. It's always go, go, go on to the next thing. Yeah, we've had wiser musicians than us tell us that as soon as you stop everything, just yeah, yeah, for so sure. You have you just have to keep going. And as a writer, you're always right. Your 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 gear is always out for an interesting turn of phrase, you know, or something, mm -hmm. or you know, you just have melodies rhyming all in your head, so. It's, that's always happening. On top of all that, we've worked every year to like become more and more efficient at what we do. So our lives can be easier and we can never really burn ourselves out. Because when the pandemic rolled around, we were like, Whoa, we were working harder yeah. than we should have there. And then our goal was to be able to continue doing what we love as efficiently as possible. So 
speaking of the pandemic, those videos were some of the oh most God. creative and creative. clever. It was absolutely a joy to see the transitions. Crazy. Pick one. I mean, any yeah. of them. They're just so fun. And learning you all and seeing those, you know, we got all the recommendations. People are chiming in all the time on what to see. And it was just video after video was just amazing. Did you have input on any of the production aspects or it was like, hey, Adam, this is what you need to do. And then you never saw it again until it was released. We learned how to appreciate all the people that worked on our videos. <laughs> yeah. Because so we had to start doing everything ourselves and we spent wow. so many countless hours just trying to get lighting figured out. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, no, literally. Like, <laughs> not, like my duct tape to the ceiling. Yeah. Just on oh, the time with our videographer, yeah. Jimmy Bass, who's brilliant. And he's like, no, move the light six inches to the left, turn it up, wow. turn the color off a little bit, change that. Move. And it was, yeah, it was very challenging, but absolutely worthwhile. It's a testament to our video team Big more than anything. Yeah, yeah, is. yeah, they are always great when things are under normal circumstances, but then they had to kind of go above and beyond to make things look good through those circumstances. Right, we're as good as they can. Yeah, so they can keep it engaging. Yeah. Right, with us all, you know, in our homes, filming on our cell phones. I don't know. So yeah, I mean, all the, especially during the pandemic, like all the credit goes to Jimmy Bates. He was the one that came up with all those concepts and made it look cohesive. That's amazing. That's very patient so guiding us through all of that. <laughs> and so creative. When you were talking about some coming up with melodies and stuff like that, this was something that I wanted to ask at the Q&A, and I'm like, look, I just want other people to get their time. Um, I know, Chance, you play guitar. When you guys are writing songs, do any of you write, and you play piano, right? Do you guys write your melodies on instruments, or is it always vocal in your mind? I think we always write with instruments for the For sure, you know, you know, the melody is obviously free-flowing, right? But for the most part, we're writing the, the, the vibe of the song, the chords, the structure, we're writing on our respective instruments. Yeah, and yeah. not just yeah. that, we demo it out with, with like full band instruments a lot of the time. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I know I personally have like the Nashville session players you know, like just play this like you would, like you're playing on all these hit records. Like you bring what you bring from this. Yeah. Instead of, you know, us trying to go straight from like song concept to acapella, in which case we'd have to be like, all right, what kind of elements can we incorporate that a player might play? And we'll sit of that, have the player play it. For sure. And then we'll figure out how to do our version of how they play it. That's cool. Seems and, like it works well. For yeah. You. Mm -hmm. And I have a couple of questions about technical stuff mixing because I'm, I'm an audio engineer myself one of the things that a lot of the home fries all y'all i'm asking trust <laughs> um people have really loved some of the breakdowns that i do like i'll hear your drums and the mixing that darren does it's I, you're an alien you're not from here he means that the, the most the loving tom supportive way just ridiculous but when it comes to you guys mixing the record would you guys prefer to be in the studio or no not really you just want darren to just do what's best. We trust Darren. He's, yeah. he's such a major part of our sound. We've evolved together over hundreds of songs with him, you know? He's so good at what he does. And he also is so good at taking our notes, like after his first draft. Right. And like, if we think something should be different, there's a really good rapport there. So it's, it's way better for the workflow for him to just do it. You know, right, we don't, right, we, right. like we just make so much music. It just, it works better that way for everybody. And again, he's so talented. He's so Let talented. him do what he does. He, yeah. he, it's funny, just something that we probably never talked about much, but he is so obsessed with getting it right that before any of us have even heard it, we might have three different mixes in our inbox. Yeah. yeah. Like if a video comes to it through at night, I didn't listen to it. Because first thing next morning, we're going to get a new bit. Oh, <laughs> yeah. you know that well. Because he's going to run that. Yep. about it. Yeah, I was like, oh, should I change that? But yeah. also, rarely are there any mixed notes from the four of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. It's mostly him being like, do this to the drums. Yeah. That's awesome. The okay. drums. The drums. Well, the thing is, it's, uh, and I learned this way or not when I was working there, it's just way more efficient. If I grind it out at home, making all the drums, and then give him something that he doesn't have to spend a whole lot of time editing. Mm -hmm. to, you know, yeah, because yeah. the more time you have to spend doing that stuff, the more your brain kind of gets washed over. For sure. Yeah. So I get real particular then of like trying to get certain sounds or whatever. But we've done this so many times that he, he knows what I like, I, well, what he likes. We've we got a good report on how to make the job sound when we want to sound. That's cool. 
And that kind of like segues me into another question about mixing and when you guys record, because you guys all live in different places. Mm -hmm. So clearly you guys record your own tracks at your house, right? And then send them to him. Do you guys put your own processing on that? Like, hey, I sound, I hear this, or you send them dry, completely dry? I'm not sending them dry for our stuff. Yeah. Because like I've started producing some of my own stuff and that I'll run through, you know, a, a preamp and the two amp. But like, if it's for Darren, I just give him a completely dry track to let him work his magic on that because he's so good at it. That's awesome. When we first started home recording, we also got software that would allow him to run the session from his studio in Minnesota. Yeah. And no so, latency, right? Right. And sometimes you get a little better, you can restart or whatever after yeah. a while, but, um, you know, some definitely some troubleshooting early on, but then once we figured it out, it was awesome. And it's not that dissimilar to being in the studio anyway, because you're in a vocal booth and he's in the track room, and you yeah. also communicate through the can and the mic club. Um, so we did that for a while, and then most of us learned enough to be able to kind of self-produce um, I still have someone come over and engineer me. Um, but what I did before I started doing it on my own was I had Darren die on own settings, like presets. Oh, so I have great. a bass setting, a lead setting, and a BGV setting. You know? That's what I'm talking about. Darren, you're next, because I got some questions for you, man. Oh my God. I want to know about like the EQs he's using. It, like, but just put, like, for background real quick, or, audio engineer oh. for like the Grammys, VMA. So he's done big shows and he's like all audio things. So thank you for entertaining me. I love all that. You should that. just give the session. You should give the session. Just, no, just, well, actually like somebody, we should just send you whatever I said. Oh, I yeah. Look at it. See, it's on tape. It's on I film. Mean, we got it. I got Pro Tools. I got Logic. I got everything. So, and I've got Waves bundles. So if if we can make that happen, yeah. that would be cool. The next on collabs. So collaborations, this is from one of our, your, I say my, my home prize. This is one of from our home prize. Hey, your, your, your home prize from awesome. Washington State about collaborations and how you go about them. If you have somebody in mind that you want to collab with, do you reach out to them? Do you have people coming to you? And how do you make that work? It's something that people are really curious about. It's both of those things. Like, right. Literally both of like Kenny Rogers reached out to us. I love that. You know, so that was obviously, that's probably the greatest, you know, like, hey, I'd like to work with you, uh, for sure. Yeah. My soon as you want to, when can we make this happen, you know? Yeah. But uh, but a lot of those um, are the other way around, you know? Uh, so it's it's one of those things that we have great managements, great management and great agents mm -hmm. who are able to help us facilitate a lot of those relationships. But then a lot of times we just bump into somebody at the Opry and we're like, hey, would you be interested in doing this with us? And yeah. a lot of times they're like, absolutely. And then if it works out, that's, you know, that's how it takes. That's the best way for it to go down. Yeah, I love you know, that. Because it's like, if it's your management talking to their management. It's it feels just formal. Yeah. And, you know, Ultimately, it's best too if they see what we do, right? right. You know, because then they're like, "Oh, I get it. Yeah, I'll work there." Ah. I'm so glad to hear that because um, there's this woman named Holly Anderson, and um, she's been talking about how she wanted to be a feature on your record. That's our mom, my mother. <laughs> I'm just being totally serious. <laughs> she's like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> so, Rob, also, I wanted to touch on your operatic background that because Nessun Dorma, like. I had no idea. I There's think he a may lot. have cried, maybe. I, I've cried at y'all's stuff a lot yeah. of times, especially do you hear what I hear, like holy balls. Oh my. Do you have any, I'm just saying. <laughs> do you have any plans to do any more of that kind of stuff? We don't really hear that power like that in Home Free, not that it needs to be. Oh, it's a completely different way of singing and it's like way tougher. Oh, okay. and so it took like a month of prep before we did that song. Um, People keep bringing it up, so like maybe in the future, but I don't have any like current. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if Fred doing it. Yeah. Look, it's not, not, we have, we have a voice teacher, right? His name's Dave Stroud. He's he's our vocal coach. He helps us stay healthy and learn how to like sustain out here on the road. He's he's taught some of the, the the most talented, most famous singers of the last you know thirty years. He's very very talented. He has uh, a computer process where you can sing into a microphone and you can look at the formats in your voice like you can see like the wave function mm -hmm. the wave form i should say yep. of what your voice looks like and when it, i came in after had he done a, a session with rob i was like austin i've been doing this for a long time rob has pavarotti harmonics he was like if you put pavarotti's harmonics beside rob's like 
they're the same. We, they have three peaks right oh here. God. So far, they, cool. like, he's the only person I've ever heard that's like actually going to voice this close to Pug Rocket. Wow. So, and I don't think he's that. I know. <laughs> and it was funny, one of the reactions we just did last week was when you guys were rained out at whatever show. Oh, and Kear then, Kearney, Missouri? Kearney, yeah, and you guys brought everybody So underneath. great, how great thou art. Oh, how great thou art. They're yeah. trying to bootleg now. Oh, people come people to us in deep. droves and say, they send do this, us, do yeah. that. So we're just doing, I mean, we do two to three songs every Friday. Yeah. Guys, so yeah. we're going through it all. But in that song, you were closest to the camera and I heard that power come so, out and I was like, yeah. Yes, like you don't really hear it. So I, I love hearing that maybe there might be. Maybe yeah. something, I don't know. And Tim, how I'll about you? Me. Like, what's your favorite song? I don't know if this is going to resonate with you. People say you release the dragon. Does that, <laughs> does that ring any bells when you go super low, low? Like when you go sub harmonic. They say Tim releases the dragon. So I didn't know if that was a term you all created. So <laughs> we're trying to take out. I don't know. I'm not three. I want to start. It's like, I'm going to do it. You got to play on. No. I'm going to start whispering that in your ear. You can fight before you travel. Sorry, Tim. I'm going to say, you start saying that, I'm going to start referring to you as the next power But see, you got you to roll the R, like, like release the Kraken. Release the dragon and yeah, then instead boom. of saying drop the bass Adam you should say drop really the dragon I could yeah. drop the dragon even better yeah. do you have a favorite song that <laughs> when you release that dragon that you love to do or is it really painful <laughs> when do you love to release the dragon yeah. no. there's a particular <laughs> comment Adam's so over here I didn't know it was that kind of show I mean. <laughs> It's our first time here. We don't know. I mean, I haven't been looking on stage. Been the and here I get to be released to light. Um, come on. I mean, maybe just the end of Ring of Fire. Okay. Know? Yeah. Yep. That low. All right. So two more real quick. Yeah. We've got two more quick questions and then a lightning round if you guys can do it and anyone can answer. One question for you, Chance. Uh, the sea, sh sea shanty. Yeah. Sea shanty. I can never. I say know it. it's sea so shanties. hard to say that. Mm -hmm. Where did that come from? I know you're in South Alabama. You're close to the Gulf, but yeah. Where did is that? Where the, your sea shanty love came from? I think so. I grew up out on the Gulf. We would go, all, you know, out on the weekends in the summer, just like out to the islands, the barrier islands. They grew up around that kind of culture and stuff. My dad would be at the shipyards and stuff. But it, beyond that, it kind of evolved from just a love of old. Uh, folk music, English, Irish, Scottish folk, and um, early Americana stuff, because they're like so related to one another. They're basically just folk of the sea, you know, like sea bar music. Mm -hmm. uh, so when that trend started, um, I've been made fun of for years for listening to sea yeah. shanties. Okay. It's a true story. I really would. But I, <laughs> when that trend started, I was like, oh, I've got about 50 sea shanties that I could put in a medley. And they were like, well, maybe just a few. But so great. They let me, you know, pick some of my favorites and it worked out better than we had. To be soft. I mean, that's pretty Yeah, that was pretty cool. cool. That was like a Amazing. career highlight. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's exciting. Go ahead. All right, Adam. Now. If she magically oh, turned into the Lady of Pain, what would you do? I don't even know what that to means. To counter that. <laughs> what does that mean? Do you know what that means? TMD, that can do. We were just trying to figure out something that would stump you, and we hear that you're all D&D, &D, and I'm like, what's the most powerful? I'm so glad powerful... you don't know. I'm trying to think of what god is the Lady of Pain right now. Well, what kind of spell is that big past miracle? <laughs> I don't know. He's probably we trying to turn know. her into the Lady of Pain yeah. right now. That's what so that is. Up. <laughs> He's got to check it out. Reddit was blowing up. I'm like, I don't know what any of this is. Wow. All right, so lightning, lightning round. Speed round. Lightning round. Lightning. Here we go. Lightning, lightning round. round. Anybody can answer. It's not like you all, you all have to. No. Okay, here we go. Tacos or pizza? Tacos. Well, tacos. Tacos. Pizza. Pizza. Yes. All right. Texting or talking? Texting. Okay. Scenario. Amber Lee's the over the there scenario. like... You better call what me. What is your Talking answer? is so much easier. I feel like I'm getting older, but like now I'm just like, like call me, just call me. Just call me. Okay. Okay. Next one. Zero degree winter or 90% 90 90 humidity, humidity summer? 90% humidity, humidity summer. Rob did an answer. Zero degree winter. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Yep. Favorite holiday? Halloween. Christmas. 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 <laughs> Lightning. Lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> yeah, we will get you. You don't hurry up. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Coming up. Uh, Memorial Day. 
No, it's Memorial Day. You know, no, May the 4th, your favorite holiday. <laughs> May the 4th. May the 4th. There it is. Okay. Just throw a dart at a calendar. <laughs> that one. Oh, there's All right, favorite junk food. Mmm, that's dope. Lates potato chips. Yeah, what do we get at Buck? Regular old. Buc- Ooh, Buck and Yeah, and it'd be the habanero and the white cheddar from Buckies. Amen to that. Mm hmm. I mean, I guess if I had to choose one, it'd just be like chili and queso. Okay. Solid choices. I'll all take of a them. Snickers bar. Yeah. All right. Two more. Star Wars or Top Gun? Star Wars. Star Wars, Star Wars again. So, See, I told you Top Star Gun Wars? shouldn't be in there. Like Star Wars. I mean, Star we, I, we all especially love the new Top Gun. Yeah. It's amazing. Star Wars. I, I know. I'm curious. Star Wars or Lord of the Rings? Ooh. Star Wars. Lord of the Rings. I love Lord of the uh-huh. Rings. I love it, too. Yeah. Right? Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker. You know, Rob said you said Lord of the Rings. Simply. Yeah, love it. That's great. Really? I was saying Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, la- last one, and then we won't keep you anymore. I'm sorry um, in advance. I apologize in advance for this. Oh gosh. Everybody understands what that means. Okay, so what is the better sign language for barnacle penis? This <laughs> or this? You <laughs> stop in. That's hard to No, this is just the spill barnacle, which I can't. You got a B A R E barnacle. Uh, Tim said there's, there's this is one. Just a sign for that second word. Yeah. I think oh, we're making first we used to do barnacle. As much as we talked about it, I think we're starting a movement to actually have a symbol for the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't make it this. Please don't make it this. It's you the guys, bane of my existence. We had a meetup with other home fries, and we took a picture with all of us. And and on Not the reactions, reaction. like, we come up, I'll be doing this, and she's like, get that out of my face. And like, Is that going to be the joke? Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Home fries love it. Thank you for your patience. All right. So this has been amazing. It's been a dream come true to meet these guys, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it as well. I know you guys did. And um so free. <laughs> so free. We're gonna let these guys get out and get warmed up and go enjoy the show. And we will see you guys soon, my friends. Peace. Oh my gosh. There you have it, folks. There you have it. There is so much to talk about. Like how we felt when they just first walked in the room. I mean, how did you feel when they first walked in the room? Well, it was a little hard for me because I was the one setting all the gear and cameras and microphones up. So, you know, they came in just after we got there. So it was like quickly shake hands, but then quickly get to engineer mode and focus mode and and go. So we were dying inside to be very totally, honest. Totally dying inside. It's like inside. you have to completely keep your composure, but oh my gosh, be ready to go immediately and have everything right. And and when Tim yeah. said they had 15 minutes it's like, and like I hadn't even gotten anything going at yeah. all yet. It was like, okay, so, but it was, <laughs> it was really fun to meet them. And one of the things that I loved the most that was a surprise was Chance and Adam Rupp. I know, right? You don't like see the personality out of them so much. I mean, maybe you all have because you guys have met been telling them us and some of this. Yes. You've met them mm-hmm. and you've seen a lot of different things from them. But for us, and especially seeing them for the first time, they were so much more peppy and talkative and just so cool. Yeah. You know, you don't get that in the videos. No, and in the room, yeah, that was a whole different dynamic. And in the Q&A beforehand, seeing them, I, you know, I just don't know if they were focused on the show and their performance. They just seemed kind of muted on stage. They didn't seem like, I think maybe because I was so excited, I was expecting that same bubbling personality <laughs> from all of them. And it was just sort of, Sort it's of muted, and then immediately when we go to to meet them, of course, it, Tim gave me a hug, which I thought was really nice. Everybody shook hands. It was really, really yeah. sweet. But and 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 speaking of the Q and A session, there were a lot of things there that were addressed that we were going to ask in the interview, which yeah. is why we didn't ask them in the interview. Things like Austin leaving. Yeah, you know. Let's talk about that actually, because we did not cover that as part of the interview, as you guys know, and that was kind of intentional. One, because we knew it was going to come up in the Q and A, and two, we didn't. Want want to hijack all of our time with the guys focusing on that because of course that's what everybody expects is going to be asked yeah. so the bottom line with austin's departure that was covered in the q a was the band has been together for 20 plus years what did tim say something like tim said that well first of all there's only one original member anyway so it's not like they're all four original and one of them is leaving yeah. or whatever or all five so tim was saying that it's a lot scarier for you guys yeah. and us than it is for them they've yeah. gone through this it's nothing to 
to them. Everybody's happy for each other. It's just another day on the job for them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, while a lot of you may be worried about it, they don't seem to be worried. There's no timeline. There's no candidates that we know of or yeah. that we heard of yet. So that was pretty much the gist of what we know about Austin leaving. Yeah, I, I, not terribly insightful, I realize, but I think that they're and probably they can't be. they're still figuring it out right. and they can't say what they don't know yet. So right. stay tuned on that. But that's just one example of a question and why we didn't cover it. Also with the time crunch being really kind of selective about what we did. Yeah. So and you know there definitely were a lot of fun questions. The lightning round was a blast <laughs> and, and and stumping Adam was awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean I stumped myself with this lady of pain thing. And the funny thing was even after even... the interview happened, we all stand up, shaking hands saying goodbye and Adam is sitting there on his phone like still looking up the answer or trying to figure out. I think I even asked him, I was like, are you still looking it up? And he was like, I can't believe I don't know or something. Right. That he effect. was all like so baffled. Yeah. And, and, you know, one of the awesome best parts of the whole time was, of course, this. You can speak for yourself. Mr. I mean, she loved it. She I had was a blast. Horrified. She was not horrified. I, like honestly, I was already dying inside because of the whole prep stuff we talked about. But I was like <laughs> internally burning inside. <laughs> I mean, come on, y'all. How many of y'all? Oh my gosh. How many of y'all out there didn't think that that was gonna happen? I want to know. Drop some comments if you didn't think that, that that we would get that picture or that I would have the guts to say it to them. Or that we would have the guts to bring them a box of milk bones. I, I was particularly tickled on that, honestly. But, you know, I was like, I, it was one of these humbling moments that we're watching things current, right? But these are things they've done years and years right. ago. So <laughs> we give them a box of milk bones because we think that it's like right on the tip of their heads. And they're like, milk bones. Adam and Adam's like... like I ate one of these once and I'm like, oh, that's like the whole reason we brought the I thing. I mean, but the rest of the guys knew exactly what that was from yeah. though. So, you know, I don't know. All in all, it was awesome to get to meet these guys and hopefully you guys got some insight from this interview and got at least a few bits of information that maybe you didn't know before, you know? I think overall it turned out to be really fun. I loved the lightning rounds to get more of their personalities and perhaps give you guys information about them personally that you didn't know. And, you know, of course, her favorite question was the last one of the lightning round you know it's oh obvious oh my gosh in Becky, front of home look free. at her butt you know it's kind of <laughs> like if you had a little kid and they told somebody some stranger at the store that they were ugly and you're the parent dying inside <laughs> i felt i was dying inside and i'm like keep it together smile loud. oh my god <laughs> how Anyways, are they gonna react <laughs> home fries hope you guys enjoyed this interview now directly after this it was time to make our way to our seats and get my camera out and now it's time to start shooting the show so enjoy some clips from the show that we got to see yeah but i have to tell them one thing you're not going to see the entire concert here in fact you're going to see very short clips of it and that's intentional because youtube would copyright our entire vlog and we don't want to do that. But what we are going to do is give you a glimpse of it. And then over on our Patreon for all of the paid patrons, we're going to include a bunch of concert footage, just kind of raw concert footage. So you can go over there and check it out. I think that's going to be a really cool way to blend both of these. Yeah, things. definitely. Yeah. So make sure you go over to our Patreon page and thank you to all of you who are already there. Thank you, you guys rock. Yeah, you do. Now check out the rest of the vlog. Enjoy.
Yeah, so that's just a little preview of the concert. Just a reminder to head over to Patreon for all the paid patrons to see a lot more concert footage. Absolutely. And speaking of the patrons, um, because Abe and Taylor are awesome, yes. we actually managed to get a photo pass as well as the interview. Big thanks and to their management yeah, team. Yeah, thank you so much. It was an awesome show. Yeah. It was so fun to like hear this live. I got to talk to Logan, their new front of house engineer. Mm -hmm. And it was really cool because I had to ask him about the EQ or compression and what kind of effects are you using on Tim's voice, you know? <laughs> and I was, I was pleasantly surprised to hear him say, you know, you'd be surprised. There's not much going on. He Ooh. really does all that take that white pegasus or whatever that video was you said that's pitch correction not yeah <laughs> but here, here's the thing he was off doing his technical talking and chatting and i was with holly completely oblivious and enjoying the show and it sounded awesome it did and adam oh man that alien that dude is so good and i know a lot of you home fries out there were really wondering what i would think seeing it in person yeah. and seeing it in person was absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. And it sounded way better than, you know, watching cell phone videos on reactions, of course. But it wasn't like like the kind of in person I'm talking about. I think I need to be like sitting Watching with his him. Mouth, right? Like I want to hear it not coming through a PA, not with all kinds of stuff. I want to hear and see what he does. And um, I'm going to try and work on something. And I, I told Abe about it as well. And he said that that sounds like a really cool idea. So if we can make it work, that would be awesome. So yeah. I'll let y'all know if we find out, but in general, it was just awesome. Yeah, they to had see. A, like a good blend of old and new songs. And then Chance came in with a sea shanty at the end, towards the end, that was great. Hearing Tim's lows oh my in person God. and like the speakers about to blow out, that was pretty fun. I mean, my I whole think, mic yeah. blew up. It was just, like, <laughs> and it's funny, I had, two, I had two mics, right? I had the one that was on my camera with the big fuzzy dead cat on it, right? Oh, I just, yes. <laughs> That's what it's called, yeah. a dead cat. So I have that microphone, but then I also had my 360 degree camera. Yeah, we'll put a lot of that on Patreon. Yeah, and the audio on that camera, oh my God. I can't, I, like, I don't even know if the microphone on that camera works anymore. <laughs> it was Tim Bliviated. Yeah, it was great. And, and especially when we had our photo pass and we could shoot the first three songs of the set, being up at the stage right next to the speakers is like, Deafening. Oh yeah, my gosh, yeah, yeah. that was, it was so it was cool. Crazy. One thing that, honestly, I'm just gonna be really honest. Tim's uh -oh. Tim's roasting was a little, I already knew Tim's a comedian, right? <laughs> but he, in my opinion, pushed it a little bit. And I know this is very subjective. <laughs> pushed it. You know why specifically she what- butter. What I didn't like <laughs> was that he kept roasting the people in what he called the cheap seats. And I don't know, like once or twice, maybe for fun, but all night he kept roasting these people. And I just kept thinking to myself, like, what if you're a family that can't afford expensive tickets and with your kids and then they feel bad? I don't know. I was way overthinking it. Way well, too much overthinking. I was. Any home I free like fan, it. any home free fan that has been watching them knows he does this and knows that he's just sarcastic. So it's they, they know not to take it to heart. The tough balance is how much is too much. And that's subjective. I get it. So no, don't what get me got wrong. her, what got her was Tim talking about reactors. Oh, yeah. That's what set this off. That's a lot true. <laughs> just gonna yes, be honest. it's a lot true. <laughs> you know, I, I don't like to think I'm an overly sensitive person. I just thought it was maybe not so tasteful considering the fact that we just interviewed them and explained how <laughs> at least I call us the self-proclaimed number one home free reactors. And I think I mean number one, not in terms of like Numbers. viewers or anything like that, more so just like how much we champion these guys and we love the same audience and all of that. And then that reactor comment that he made. And one of the little bits of information that wasn't in the film is as he's giving the, his whole spiel on reactors and not getting it, the lady next to me who I made friends with and she like on her <laughs> phone was adding us on YouTube, she's filming me with her. Sharon. Hey, Sharon, if you're watching, <laughs> Hi, Sharon. Sharon was filming me as this reactor bit came. So I realized I was being filmed and I'm like, keep it together. Keep smiling. Act like you're not dying inside. Sharon, if you have that video, please send it to us at sickbusinessmanager at gmail.com. Yeah, it's probably going to be me smiling and like twitching. Her teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now, Tim, he didn't he didn't say anything mean. He just said that he doesn't get it. And 
I completely understand that because it, it really just takes a perspective. You know, if you don't really care about watching all kinds of stuff on YouTube very much and you're like, why are people watching other people watching people? Like, if you just make it at that surface level, then I understand. That's a good point. All right, enough about that. Let's talk about probably my most favorite part of the whole show. It was talking to all of the home fries, both before the show, during the show, and after the show. We were swarmed in the best way with a bunch of people or like random people. Jeremy would be walking by. I watch your YouTube channel. So that was so much fun, you guys. Thank you very great. much. Yeah. If you were one of those people. And, we loved and, it. And one of the cool things about it, like not for me, but my mom got to see that. Yeah. And it just made her so proud and happy you know? to see people supporting us like that. Like we talk to a lot of people and yeah, we see our numbers and, and this and that, but we don't see people face to face no. and get to shake hands and get to give hugs and hang out. And, and there was a that. there was a lot of that. Yeah. Like I think it surprised us knowing how many people knew who we were. It was just awesome to see so many of you out there. So thank you for coming up and, and talking to thank us you. and hanging with us. It, it was, was the best blast. part of my night, honestly. You know, yeah. it, there, there was there was so many amazing parts. I, I loved it. So you guys were the best. In a nutshell, well not really in a nutshell. That's kind of in <laughs> like a in a big massive jackfruit. In a bubble. Know? <laughs> in a jackfruit shell. So uh, that was our, our concert experience, but there's still more vlogs. So hopefully you guys aren't tired of us yet. We did get to sneak in one more day in Memphis because we did no sightseeing before that. No, and, especially um, with this pop-up interview, it was like, oh my gosh, we've got to get ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we managed to take on our last day, we took a tour of Sun Records. We went down to Beale Street. We did all this stuff, which we're going to show you right now. Enjoy. Check it out. See a big guitar up there. You know what kind of guitar that is? No. <laughs> Do you expect that I would know what kind of guitar that was? Come it now. It looks like a Gretsch, but I don't know. I definitely don't play Gretsch. Sun Studios, we're here. This is cool. Elvis recorded here, BB King, Johnny Cash. The list goes on and on. This place is iconic. It's gonna be cool to see some of these old school microphones. Like we get to stand in front of the Super 55, even though I hate that mic, but we get to stand in front of the one that Elvis sang on. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, it's not a Gretsch, it's a Gibson. And uh, yeah, I don't play those either. <laughs> got to be in like, I don't know, you heaven. <laughs> Audio heaven? Uh, yeah. like Audio and history heaven? Yeah, that's what I mean. There's too many things. It's just like you. <laughs> Me. Yeah. That's that Super 55 I was talking about. Super 55? There's a Super 55. It's a Super 55. I don't know what Super 55 is, but that's one. Sun dude, Sun Records. You know, we were just saying that even though we haven't been the biggest country fans and Elvis fans, it's like you can appreciate the history and the musicianship. We are in a, like the epicenter of where so much music started. And like Elvis stood right over there. I'm standing where Elvis was. You're gonna stand where Elvis was. Elvis stood, Elvis sang. And he sang into this, this same mic. On that, what, how'd it go? Microphone. <laughs> Give me your best Elvis. Hey, darling. Wait. What? Wait. I'm all shook up. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that right? Yeah. Look at this. Super VIP. We get the super VIP tour.
This is wonderful. Yum. Look at that. We got brisket, we got pulled pork, we got turkey, and That's we got rack ribs. Man, how about that, Ninja? Oh my gosh. It's like sensory overload. <laughs> oh man, food coma coming. I won't be with you guys for your birthday. Aww. You already gave it to me. Yes. Is this a plan? Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy yeah. birthday. You, first of all, you always have the best cards. I know. The Star Wars cards are ridiculous. Celebrate you must. Celebrate you must. Aww. Oh. Happy birthday. That's too much. Yeah, I look at me. I look at me. I look at me. 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 Thank you so much for sticking with us. If you've made it this far, thank, thank you. you very much. Thank it, you. It means a lot to us. I hope that you enjoyed it. And it was fun doing this because it's been so long since we did a vlog. If you guys love vlogs and you love this kind of thing, we have a travel channel. Jillian and Jeremy will pop it up on the screen. It's been a minute since we've done anything on that channel because we've prioritized this channel. But we've got all kinds of different uh, oh my vlogs God. from all around the world. Brazil, you guys, Switzerland, Fiji, Fiji. Switzerland. Yeah, oh, so. We've done a lot of cool things. Things, yeah. And it's just all us being goofy and jumping off of a mountain in Switzerland and hang gliding. And yeah. we've done some crazy stuff. So if you like our vlog style and what we're doing, make sure you go check out Jillian and Jeremy on YouTube. Thank you. And um, yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for being here and yeah. showing us so much love and so much support. Yeah, including helping donate tickets oh on our God. wish list to get us there. Thank we you wouldn't have been that. able to do that without your help. Yeah. I mean, it really, there's no way that we would have been able to do this trip without that help Thank so you. we look forward to doing some more home free videos and more Wonderful. vlogs more travel stuff so uh Thank you guys, thank our you. fellow home fries. Now we've got one more little scene for you, just as a little outro, and um, we will let you get on with your day. I have a feeling <laughs> I know what this is. I don't think you do. All right, let's get going. Thank you guys, love you so much. See you soon. Peace. Peace. What are you in here doing? Ba-ding dong dang. I am a man of constant barnacle. Oh my gosh. It's the place where I found my fun. Can't we get through one home free anything without that? Without what? Nothing. It was awesome. Yeah, it's great. Highly recommend. Nice place. Huge too. Very huge. All right, it's we time to four go. Four bedrooms and all kinds of. Things. Yeah, four bedrooms everywhere. We got Barnacle Records down there. Oh my gosh.